Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master Prophets, again joined by Jakob the Lord Maltz. Today it's Christmas in Denmark, the 24th. Uh, we're shooting this before Christmas, of course, and we're doing it at Ulkonsol because we just got done with work, so we're uh, yeah. having a, what do you call that, after work beer? Yeah. And um, so there's not too many ornaments around at all, but whatever, it's a Christmas beer, and it's yet another McKellar Christmas beer. Uh, this one is the McKellar. Fra Via 2, or from Via 2, aged in bourbon barrels for 8 months, and this is the 2011 version. Now, last year it was kind of hot, uh, but I've heard it's mellowed out very nicely with the year on it, so I thought we should review it this year. 8% uh, alcohol, says a porter brewed with water malt, and the malt used are Maris Otter, smoked malt, Care Crystal, brown and chocolate malt, roasted barley, dark candied sugars, hops used are tomahawk, palisade, centennial, and cascade, and the spices are star anise, cinnamon, and coriander seeds. Uh, so yeah, a little different from the recipe for this year, uh, but I don't know if they're going to do the 12, 2012 barrel age. Oh, wait, is this the 2010? I think it actually is, because we had this last year too. Yeah, probably. Because usually it's, yeah, so this must be the 2010 <laughs> Tim Via Fla, aged in bourbon barrels that was released last year. I guess that's how they, they do it. But yeah, Merry Christmas to all the Danes and Scandinavians who celebrate Christmas on the 24th and not the 25th. So let's dig into this Christmas brew. We got the apparent, I think it's 2010. We'll have to check online. But the barrel, bourbon barrel lights, uh, Tim Via Fla. Right? Uh, yeah. Two Via From, not From. No, two. From Two Via. Yeah, uh, from, from two. Via. From me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, they have a lot of different versions of it, but it's a pretty much an all pitch by color. Yeah, right? a little lemon color. Yeah, reddish nose and, and a nice little tan looking head. It's got the aroma. What's it on? How many? Uh, Eight percent. Yeah, but you could smell the kind of bourbony notes yeah. as soon as we open it, and I definitely pick it up right now. A lot yeah. of bourbon and vanilla, and a lot of dark fruit. The spice spices have really died down. Yeah. The only spice I kind of pick up is the licorice star anise. Mm. And maybe a kind of clove. Mm. Uh, very subtle. Oh, that smells really nice this year, mm. uh, after aging. Some some of that oaky, woody notes, some, some tobacco, roasted, yeah. roasted notes, coffee, some dark caramel notes. Real dark. Real dark, caramel. yeah. And well, definitely, kind of yeah, yeah. definitely the sugary notes. Oh, this smells really nice. Some, some kind of weird dulcineness. That, that might be from the spices. Yeah, probably. Smells, and yeah. This, but a lot of like those dark roasty flavors, and you can still kind of smell a little bit of the smoke. Yeah. But um, do you want to take it out? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. To the Scandinavians. <laughs> and Merry Christmas tomorrow. Too. Yeah, to you other guys. Wow, it's smooth. Whoa. The mouthfeel feels lighter than yeah, I what, it, what I expected. Yeah. yeah. Which is actually kind of okay in this yeah. year, because I, I think that was the beef we had with the regular one this yeah. year. But nice bourbon flavor and a lot of coffee on the back end. I'd say mouthfeel is on the bigger side of medium. Yeah, not it's going not all the way full. to full. No, and it's an imperial porter, by the way. Uh, but yeah, bigger side of medium uh, with that kind of silky porter-like mm -hmm. mouthfeel. A lot of roasted, almost smoky notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say smoky notes for sure. And nice bourbony notes. A lot of dark fruit in this one too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a lot of dark fruit from the aging because usually I don't think it has too much dark fruit. This feels like more dark fruit with that oaky vanilla bourbon flavor, and then also a lot of tobacco, actually. Yeah. And you can really feel that this one has been loaded with spices or something like that. Yeah, and it's been boozy a little, because yeah. it doesn't taste like booze now, but it kind of feels like it's been like more heat. Ha ha it feels like it has had more heat. Yeah. And I think that was one of the main beefs with it when it came out, is because it has too had too much heat from the barrel. Even though all these good things we said about it, it's not a huge mind blower, but it's just a really nice bourbon barrel aged porter with a little bit of the spice notes. Uh, rain wise for me, I'm gonna go 92 on it. It's it's really really nice. Definitely check it out if you can get it. It's not the best barrel aged beer from McKellar. I'd say that barrel aged black holes are more interesting, but it's still really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go 93. This is a good beer. This is a great beer. Yeah, much better really? than the uh, latest we had, which I believe like a 89. Uh, yeah, we, we were still really good, but yeah. yeah. This one is definitely better. Uh, go check it out. Go, if you have it cellar, try it out. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, good stuff. So definitely let us know what you think of the McKellar. Fa Via 2, or From Via 2, or From Via McKellar 2, whatever. <laughs> uh, barrel aged in bourbon barrels for 8 months. Yeah, definitely let us know. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're gonna say cheers. cheers. And we're gonna see you guys in another beer review.